Rex Dobo Beast 1982. I didn't even mean to order this. I, I seriously ordered this by accident. But this is one of those happy accidents because this is 7.7 .7 pounds and 120 watts of pure pleasure. 120 watts in a Bluetooth speaker. I don't know what the specifications are, but just from looking at photos, I see that we have basically two two-way speakers. So we have dual woofers, dual tweeters, and dual passive radiators. And combined, it just sounds wonderful. I've never heard of Vexdobo before, but apparently they've been around for the past 15 years, so that's on me. These are those minimalist Bluetooth speaker controls that we all know and love. Sure, there's 19 inches of speaker, what we could use for single purpose buttons, but no, let's double and triple them up. Why not? <laughs> This thing is so awkward to hold. Behind this rubberized panel, we have a USB-C charging port, a reset switch, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, quarter inch karaoke microphone input. We have a U-Drive slot and a TF card slot. Normally when you see a panel like this, you expect it to be waterproof and it is water resistant. It's IPX6 which means you can splash it, but I wouldn't submerge it. Why would anybody want a Bluetooth speaker as massive as the Beast 1982? Well, because it sounds awesome. You will appreciate this built-in handle because it is sturdy and the Beast is heavy. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I often say that you can turn a speaker up to about three quarter volume and something is going to start failing, whether it be the treble or the bass or both, but not the beast. Turn the beast up to maximum volume and every kind of music is going to sound fantastic. This went through my entire torture list of songs and conquered them all. I might have mentioned earlier that this supports quarter inch microphones for karaoke, but you don't necessarily have to use it because you also get this wireless microphone. As a karaoke enthusiast, I am always happy when a Bluetooth speaker supports karaoke out of the box. And this has got to be the best bundled karaoke microphone I have heard so far. You simply turn on the microphone and it will automatically pair with the beast. And this has separate volume controls, so you can adjust the volume of your voice independently from the volume of the music. Sadly, my microphone was dented in the box, but if my performance is bad, then I can say, hey, my microphone is damaged. They rate the battery on the Beast for 8 to 10 hours of playback. Normally, when manufacturers create these ratings, it's done at 50% volume. I expect this thing will be at full volume the whole time. So what, four hours? Actually, just leave it plugged in. There are three equalizer modes on the Beast that are accessible through short press on the power button. The modes are full frequency, bass boost, and vocal boost. The bass boost is insane, and I don't know that I would ever use the vocal boost, but uh, those are your options. Other than the usual abuse of black buttons on a black background, the only other complaint I have for the Beast 1982 is that it could use a battery level indicator. This thing is huge. It is powerful. You are going to be using a lot of battery, and I'd just like to know how much is left. If you are looking for a mid-price speaker that is loud, it sounds fantastic, and you don't care if you have to leave it plugged in most of the time, the Beast is the answer. Five out of five stars.